What's going on YouTube? I am back reacting to some clips and just seeing what the hell was going on these days. Shoplifting is still out of control, particularly in California. We got a weirdo customer having a freak out at Dunkin' Donuts. And I'd say a majority of all this is caused by woke foolishness. But as I always say first up, if you want to support me on Patreon, link in the description, like these bloody legends did. Shout out to the Mark Nado. We got Ro Pick and we got Vincent. Also support me by hitting the like button and the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Cause I'm struggling. -y. But we got this here, right? This person was upset, they were crying. Need tissues. Need a metamucil. All because they're watching South Park and someone used the F word. And I'm not talking about the four letter F word here. I'm talking about the one that was commonplace about 15 years ago. That was one of my favorites. My personal favorites was using that F word on a daily basis, right? These days, you can't even mention the word, right? People get upset. Now let's get to the person. Incriminating themselves, where y'all at? I just stole the pizza man car. What kind of low life would steal a pizza man's car? Check this out. It's garbage behavior and needs to be called out. This is, I mean, foolishness. Hopefully the police catch this person and lock them up, throw the book at them. And I think that'll be the first book they may have seen in their entire life. Now we have these people here. So someone called in an active shooter at this concert and check out what these people did here. And people think that society will just continue as good as it's been when you have people acting like this. That's not the way it works. There's rules in place. There's you know social etiquette of the way you behave in public. You don't go around just stealing shit like this. And that's a pretty basic standard to adhere to, okay? Now we've got this guy here losing his cool at a bloody Dunkin' Donuts worker. In my life, I've been to thousands of you know restaurants and fast food places, and I've never had an interaction anywhere close to this so i'm guessing nine out of ten times when you see these things it's the customer who's being an asshole whatever the, whatever the fuck went on yesterday or today at home or whoever the fuck just got mad at you before today you're taking it out on somebody else no, 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 and no, no, i'm no, telling you right now you need to stop you you're ignorant you're i'm ignorant, ignorant. yes you are I, ignorant. I have a roofing company you work at dunkin donuts who the you're fuck you mean ignorant? Service representative. i made three hundred fifty thousand dollars last year i'm fucking ignorant yeah, the cops what do they the pay way? you? 12 yeah, the bucks cops are on the way. We already yeah, made a report with them. They're not on their way. And you, last day of your job. Who pulls out the money card when you're talking to a food service worker like this? Now we got Obama here. Obama and um, and his um, and his uh, wife in quotation marks. <laughs> There's been a bit of a breaking story in regard to um, this couple. Let's check it out. Here it is. Uh, Barack Obama told X, quote, that he, um, I'm not going to read that. He um, thinks about um, men on a daily, but in the imagination, okay? Only in the imagination. <laughs> ah, sure, bro. Sure, bro. Come on. Obama, right? We know, <laughs> we know what's going on here. Mob of criminals destroying a Nordstrom store in a mall in California. It's out of control in California. The laws are so weak, there's nothing to stop this. So everyone's just going to keep doing it. And as soon as these businesses leave these locations, people are going to be crying about, oh, racism and all this type of stuff. Really? Really? No, it isn't. It's poor behavior that's causing this. Lack of parenting is causing this. 
the people not understanding the basic rules of how society functions. This is going to be the end of these stores. They're going to move out. And I can see it, I can see it a mile away. People complaining about it. Don't complain about it then. Now's the time to be complaining about it. This one's from um, California again, Roseville. Just walking out with stuff. They don't give a flying, a flying fruitcake about it. The staff can't do anything because they're going to be in trouble if they try and stop these people. We've got another one here from uh, California taking designer handbags. Right, this is ghetto trash behavior. And the police, you know, their hands are tied as well. That's the thing. The politicians brought in these policies. I'm sure there are lots of cops out there who would love to arrest these people. A society can't function like this. It's very basic stuff here. I'm no genius. It is very basic stuff. This one here from uh, San Francisco. The amount of car break-ins we've seen footage of is just crazy. There's so many. I could post so many videos just talking about individual videos of people doing this stuff. All right. This one here from Oakland. Stealing bloody suitcases out of cars. The thing is that they're not driving around in a crap car either. They've got a pretty good car there. And they're stealing stuff. <laughs> it's like, what the... What is going on? The government... There must be some politicians out there who want this behaviour to continue. That's the only reason I could think of why they don't do anything about it. They must want this to be happening. And so they go out and they need to feed their child and they don't have money. So you maybe have to, you're, they're put in a position where they feel like they either need to shoplift some bread or go hungry that night. So designer handbags, people's luggage, you know, stuff from the Nike store, just trying to feed their families. That's all they're trying to do. <laughs> That's all they're trying to do. I mean, they're not just stealing because they're low-life trash who want to get stuff they should have to work for, but they want it for free because they're entitled brats. Not at all. Not even once. Damn, stinking ass. 